Hello guys, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102 In today's video, I will discuss uh, the option, the casing options and the external antenna option for the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi dead board So you can use uh, the Flipper Wi-Fi uh, Zero dead board just as the way it is um, bearable without uh, any casings However, it's good to have casing uh, for rotation and it does make it look uh, comestically look better than uh, without the casings. So uh, you have two casing options. One is the one without uh, antenna. Uh, you can find these in uh, SC. I found this one to be a uh, good options uh, and they have good review as well. Uh, I'm not affiliated with the uh, SC or any seller, so feel free to find any or you can purchase the one I recommend it and the second option is the one uh, with the external antenna uh, keep in mind what the thing is not included the only thing that you will get is the case only uh, you still have to buy the external uh, antenna the um, cable and uh, as well as the connector that you will have to solder onto the Wi-Fi uh, dead board so let's go back to the Wi-Fi dead board uh, right here you see the three connector, three lead connector uh, down there right next to the metal part there's a little bit uh, a kind of tight space right here to solder it in so be careful and don't strip it up that uh, copper underneath the lid so some of the things you will need to uh, solder that into the, um, the connector into the lid pin it's um, obviously you will need the uh electro electric solder uh soldering kit i found these to be a uh, pretty uh, portable and easy to use it using a uh, it can use usb c power or the ac adapter and it really uh quick it heat up really quick uh, however though uh the if you have like a solder stations you can have uh the smaller uh tip the tip for this one is not too big per se, but it's kind of a little bit difficult uh, to get into the space right here, but uh, it, it will work. And uh, you will need the external antenna. The external antenna actually come with the uh, cable connector, the, uh, the male connector already, so you don't have to purchase it separately. Uh, all the link will be included in the descriptions. Uh, for the closer, I'm using a Amazon affiliated uh, link. So if you purchase this, I will have a small commissions and that's how I roll my channel. Thank you for your support. And next, uh, you will need the connector. So as you see that underneath uh, the female connector, the RF female connector, it have three uh, copper pin and the pin go exactly uh, on uh, where the three lead connector on the uh, Wi-Fi uh, dead board so one tip to a solder is on your uh, flipper zero make sure that you put a little bit of uh, lid on the three connector that's where it's easier to solder into the the lid that already on the dead board and obviously you will need the uh, core solder uh, this one is a very fine uh, rosins uh, so it make it easier to get in that high uh, space between the um, connector and the uh, middle part right here and also this is optional you don't need it um, but in case that you know you, you did something wrong and you want to be soldering the connector pin uh, this will give you an option to do that there's a lot of way to do it but this is uh, cheap and it's easy uh, what you do is you place the uh, copper wire on top of the um, not copper wire it uh, raised wire on top of the lid and then you put the the solder tip soldering tip on top of the the uh, raised it heat it up and then it's gonna absorb all the lid into that uh, raised removal tool and uh, that's how you're able to remove the component from the dead board itself and lastly uh, you actually need the uh, especially the one with the angle uh, so that you can hold onto the 
connector while you solder, soldering it uh, onto the dev board. And uh, I think that's it for today's video. If you think it's helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.